this video, I am going to teach you how to solve quadratic equations using factoring. So, when you were in grade 8, I believe na, na discuss na to ng teacher nyo how to factor general trinomials. So, you are going to use that knowledge or schema in this lesson. So, uh, if hindi nyo pa kaya mag-factor, you should review how to factor general trinomials. So, let's have or let's solve this given or example here. And reminder, in using factoring in solving quadratic equations, the equation must be in standard form or ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And yung standard form. Okay? So, yun. Well, let's try to solve this example. So, let's say we have x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, you need to factor agad-agad yung equation natin, this. We will be factoring that. So, in, in factoring, ang answer lagi is dalawang binomial, di ba? So, dalawang binomial and then is equal to 0. Ngayon, how can we factor this? So, ganito lang yan. Mag-iisip kayo ng factor, factors ni 3 na pag in nyo, positive 4 yung sagot. Okay? This is the sum. Kailangan yung factors ni 3, kapag in nyo, positive 4 yung sagot. Pag naman minultiply nyo, 3 or positive 3 yung sagot. So, ang sum dapat ng factors ay 4, ang product niya dapat ay 3. Okay? So, yun. So, ano-ano kaya? So, dito, sa unang side, of course, uh, factors ni x squared. So, wala namang ibang factors x squared kundi x times x. ba? So, x times x kasi is x squared. So, ang iba factor lang natin ay itong first term and itong last term. Pero yung last term, kailangan um, okay siya dun sa condition na sinabi ko kanina na dapat yung factor niya, ang product ay ito, positive 3, ang sum niya dapat ay positive 4. Okay? So, let's try to get the factors of uh, positive 3. Ang factors lang naman ng positive 3 ay 3 and 1. Okay? Wala naman na siyang ibang factors kundi yun. So, let's try positive 3 and then positive 1. And then, let's check. 3 times 1 or positive 3 times positive 1 is positive 3. So, nakuha natin tong product. Okay, tama yun. But, positive 3 plus positive 1, positive 4 ba yung sagot? Of course, 4. So, therefore, yung factors mo ay correct. If you want to make sure na tama talaga yung factors mo, you can um, use trial and error method. Yes, you can simplify or you can solve this using FOIL method and then trial and error. Anak. Um, try and try until you come up with the uh, given equation. So, paano yung FOIL method? Multiply the first terms. That is x squared. Uh, multiply the outer terms. x times 1. That is uh, positive 1x or x. Okay. Multiply the inner terms. So, 3 times x. That is positive 3x. And then multiply the last terms. 3 times 1. That is positive 3. Okay. So, x squared. We can combine this kasi same sila ng variables, okay? So, isipin niya may invisible 1 dito. So, 3 plus 1, that is positive 4x plus 3. So, nakita niyo, we did came up with the given. Therefore, tama tong solution natin dito, okay? So, I'm going to erase this part para game mal ito. Yan. Yan lang, ganun lang mag-check. 
new spoil method. If hindi niyo nakuha yung given equation, therefore may mali sa factors ninyo. Ano ulit yung factors niya? So, factors niya ay quantity x plus 3, quantity x plus 1 equals 0. Ngayon, the second thing that we need to do is we need to equate each uh, factor by 0. Okay? So, x plus 3 is equal to 0. And x plus 1 is equal to 0. Ganun lang mag-equate. No? So, now, how do we find the value of x's? Madain na tayo x, di ba? So, we just need to transpose no? both constant terms. So, transpose natin si positive 3 and then transpose natin si positive 1. Oh, therefore, x now will be equal to negative 3 and x will be equal to negative 1. Therefore, your answer is this in set form, no? negative 3 and then negative 1. That will be your quadratic roots. Okay, yun na kayo yung sagot niya. Let's say we have another example. Mm. Let's say we have x squared minus 7x is equal to negative 12. Let's say that. So, in this example, hindi pa siya naka-standard form, no? So, we are going to transpose first. So, hindi pat natin si negative 12 on the left side. Ngayon, ito na yung magiging solution niya. So, x squared minus 7x, nilipat natin si negative 12, so magiging na siyang positive. Plus 12 is equal to 0. Wala nang term doon. Okay? So now, that we, that the given is in standard form, we can, we can now factor, okay? So, the factors of this uh, equation is x, quantity x, minus 4, and quantity x, minus 3, is equal to 0. If you want to check uh, if your factors are correct, you can use a FOIL method. FOIL method. In checking... If your factors are correct. In this case, i-check natin, no? So, negative 4 plus negative 3, the answer is negative 7, di ba? Yun yung middle term. And then, negative 4 times negative 3, the answer is positive 12. So, tama lang yung factors natin. Kahit hindi mo na siya i-foil, pero if you want to really make sure na tama yung factors nyo, use FOIL method. Kasi yan yung pinaka-accurate. Now, we need to equate each um, factor by 0. So, x minus 4 is equal to 0. x minus 3 is equal to 0. And then, okay, transpose natin yung mga constant terms for us to find the value of x. So, the first one, x is equal to 4. And the second one is x is equal to Three. Your final answer will be in set, okay? In listing form or roster form. So your answer is four and three. Okay, and your answer mo. Yun yung roots mo ngayon. And then, let's say we have uh, the last example. Here, paano pag nagkaroon ng numerical coefficient Itong quadratic term, mas mahirap na siyang i-factor, of course. So, let's say we have this example. Ayan. So, wala pa din to sa standard form. So, we need to transpose uh, this term on the right side to the left side. Okay? So, solution. So, magiging siyang 4y squared minus... 29y plus 7 is equal to 0. Ngayon, in factoring this, wala kayong choice kung di mag trial and error. So, you need to factor first this. No? So, anong factors ni um, 
4y squared. Pwede siyang 2y and then 2y. Ngayon, ano naman tong factors ni uh, 7? Pwede siyang... Hmm, Pwede siyang positive 7 and then positive 1. Ngayon, if I want to make sure na tama yung sagot ko, I'm going to use point method. So, this is uh, 4y squared. And then, this is uh, positive 2y. This is uh, positive 14y. And then, this is positive 7. So, pag sinimplify natin siya, no, magigitong 4y squared. Pwede natin tong i-add. So, 2y plus 14y, that is 16y plus 7. Nakuha ba yung given natin? So, hindi nakuha. No? Or, wait. Um, hindi. Nakuha ba to? Nakuha ba siya? 4y squared plus 16y plus 7. Hindi nakuha yung middle term. So, mali yung factors natin. Okay? Pag ganun. Kaya always check it using uh, FOIL method kasi pinaka-accurate siya. Okay. Uh, now, we will try another factor. Ganito anak mag-trial and error. No? Wala kang lubay hanggat hindi mo nakukuha yung uh, correct factors niya. How about this? Uh, let's say 4y and y. Factor natin tong una. And then negative 1. Mm. And negative 7. Kasi negative 1 times negative 7 ay positive 7. So, we are going to check if the middle term is correct using FOIL method. So, let's try to solve this. So, 4y times y, that is 4y squared. Uh, 4y times negative 7, that is negative 28y. Negative 1 times y is negative y. Okay, may invisible 1, hindi ka nun nilagay. And then, negative 1 times negative 7, that is positive 7. So, we can combine this kasi same sila ng variable, no? So, 4y squared, negative 28 plus negative um, 1. Or negative 28y plus negative uh, y. The answer is negative 29y. Okay? Plus 7. So, nakuha ba to? Nakuha to. Yes, nakuha yung given na and therefore our factors are correct. Okay? So, erase ko lang to. So, ayan. Ng factors ng given natin is 4y minus 1 and y minus 7 is equal to 0. Now that our factors are correct, we can equate uh, both factors by 0. So, 4y minus 1 is equal to 0. And y minus 7 is equal to 0. Ngayon, to solve this, I am going to remove this kasi magiging mahaba yung solution. Okay, and then I'm going to move this. Okay, yan na yan. Solution natin, di ba? So, first, we need to transpose the constant terms, di ba? So, matitira dito is 4y is equal to negative 1 will become 1. And then, y is equal to 7. So, nakompute na natin yung isang root. How about this one? So, need or we need to isolate y pa. Okay? So, we need to divide both the equations by 4. Okay? So, para makancel si 4 na katabi ni y. Therefore, y is equal to 1, 4. Now, your answer will be using uh, the roster form is 1, 4, and 7. This will become the roots of your uh, given quadratic equation. So, if nalilito pa kayo how to factor, balikan nyo na lang yung lessons nyo when you were in grade 8 kasi I'm not going to review that. 
no, kailangan alam niyo na siya. So, that is how you solve quadratic equations using factoring.